this video we're gonna learn that uh, how to do payments to our vendors to our suppliers in the previous videos we have uh, purchased different items from our supplier red ferry so that is a vendor ledger balance for the red ferry that we received two different invoices 1000 and 1009 the first invoice that is 43,350 and the second one is 14,450 so the total payable balance to the red ferry that is 57,800 now uh, assume it that we receive call from the red ferry that due date is near and we need to pay uh, to the red ferry this 40, uh, 57,800 but we had a conversation with the with our supplier that right now we have shortage of funds that we gonna uh, we are not going to pay them 57,800 this time the full payment we have to do a partial payment right now of 50,000 first we're gonna issue them a check of 50,000 uh, for let, let's suppose the due date is 31st of August or let's suppose 10th of the next month we're gonna issue a check of 50,000 and the remaining balance amount we're gonna pay after uh, a week so we have a scenario that we are doing a full payment and the partial payment and then we also check the reports for the full payments and the partial payments for our supplier red ferry so the first step is that we have to issue a check of 50,000 from the bank account to buy Islamic Bank and that is on 10th of next month for example 10th of September so how to do a payment you can click here vendors and purchases and here we have this option pay bills you can use this or the easiest one is that you can click on this task and in the task we have the option payments so click this option press ok you can change that uh, the payment method I will tell you how to do it in the next window maximize it so you can select here that is a vendor ID we have the option for the customer also so you need to select the vendor ID and here you need to select the party account that is red ferry so in the red ferry that is the address of the red ferry here you need to mention the check reference number if you're issuing any check let's suppose I'm giving a reference number 9552522 and that the check date is 10th of next month and that is what we are paying a check you need to select the bank account here that we are paying through the by Islamic bank that is a memo number that reference number you can give then here we have two options here apply to invoices and apply to expenses we have to do this apply to invoices because we have to open invoices 1000 and 1009 right and the due date of these invoices are these 11th and 13th so uh, that is the total amount 43,350 and 14,450 so we are paying right now 50,000 so you can write here the description also let's suppose partial payment to red ferry press enter if there is a discount you can write the amount here manually and if you are paying partially then you need to write here the amount manually but let's suppose uh, right now we are paying them 50,000 so against this invoice I'm gonna pay full so click this pay it will select the entire amount 43,350 and the balance amount we are going to pay against this second invoice that is 14,550 so that is a case of a partial payment that how to do a partial payment in sage 50 so 
we are paying against the first invoice that is 40, 000, uh, 43,350 so total we are paying 50,000 so the remaining balance we can enter in this against this invoice manually so that is 6650 and then press enter so it's mean that against the second invoice number 1009 the invoice total is 14450 and against this invoice you are paying 6650 so the total is how much now 50000 we are paying that is the first partial payment and then save it and if you want to check the reports you can go in the reports in form in the reports in form we have accounts payable we have vendor ledgers here click on option because I want to see only the the red ferry and press ok okay that is uh, because that uh, the report is for the August I want to see for the next month also let's suppose 30th of September and press ok so now look the first two are our invoices the purchase journal 43350 and 14450 so the total balance was 57800 but now we pay 50,000 on 10th of the next month on 10th of September so the balance amount is now 7800 that is a, still a payable balance to Red Ferry so this is how we do a partial payment in Sage 50.